Hello YouTube and welcome to Hidden Hacks. Today we're going to daisy chain 4 shift registers that is connected to only 3 pins of an Arduino Nano to control 32 LEDs. We're going to use a library and the examples included inside it for some demonstrations. Also, like on all of the previous Arduino project videos, all the necessary links will be provided on the description down below. Let's go! So, here are the things that we need. An Arduino Nano, or an Arduino Uno, or even a Mega if you want to. Some breadboards. This is for the first setup or code and IC testing phase. 4 pieces of 74HC 595N shift registers. A lot of jumper cables. Resistors with varying resistance depending on what type or color of LED you would use. Some LEDs. We would only need 8 pieces for the first setup. Okay, so let's do the trial setup. Here's our breadboard. Just ignore the breadboard power supply here. I just used it to test the LEDs. Get the smaller breadboard for the Arduino Nano. You can use a single breadboard for this. I just used a smaller one because I just bought it and wanted to try it out. There you go. This is the humble 8-bit shift register. On this video, we will be using the 74HC595N. We can use this IC to increase the number of output pins on our MCU. It is mostly used on projects where a lot of LEDs need to be connected and controlled by a microcontroller. An LED matrix for example. It only needs 3 pins from an MCU to control the outputs. The 3 pins we are talking about are the latch pin or IC pin 12, clock pin or IC pin 11, and data pin or IC pin 14. You can click right here and watch Kevin Dara's video for a more detailed explanation. Alright, let's put it right there. Then, let's get some LEDs. I will be using the red ones, so I will need the 220 ohm resistors. Then, let's test the LEDs if they are all working. Let's power up the power supply, put the resistor here, switch the power supply to 3 volts. Alright, let's try the first one. First LED is lighting up. I'm just going to fast forward the rest. So here are the ones that are still working. Let's uh, insert them to the breadboard. By the way, the anodes of the LEDs are facing me on my setup. Anodes or positive leads are the longer legs of the LEDs. Let's add the resistors, one leg to the ground rail of the breadboard and the other one to the cathodes or ground leads of the LEDs. Now, it's time to wire them up. Here's a diagram of the IC for reference. Let's connect the essential pins first. IC pin number 8 or ground to the ground rail of the breadboard. IC pin number 16 or VCC to the positive rail of the breadboard. IC pin number 10 or master reset to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then, the first LED is connected to Q0 or pin number 15 of the IC. Second LED is connected to Q1 or pin number 1 of the IC and so on. Then, the data pin or pin number 14 of the IC to digital pin number 2 of the Arduino Nano, clock pin or pin number 11 of the IC to digital pin number 3 of the Arduino Nano, and the latch pin or pin number 12 of the IC to pin number 4 of the Nano. Then, let's connect the 5 volts and ground from the Arduino Nano to the positive and ground rail of the breadboard. Also, don't forget to connect pin number 13 or output enable of the IC to the ground rail. Alright, now that the wiring part is done, before doing anything else, let's download the library first. Again, all the necessary links will be provided on the description down below. Copy and paste the GitHub link. I already have this one so I'm not gonna download it again. By the way, this library was created by Mr. J. Belevance. There he is. Thank you, sir. This is the library. I have already extracted it here. And uh, double click on the HC595 folder, then examples. These are the available sample codes. First, let's see what the follow the leader code does. Let's set the chip to 1 count, latch pin to 4, clock pin to 3, and data pin to 2. Change the delay to 50 milliseconds, upload the code, and it goes like that. Pretty nice, eh? Change the random effect to 8, upload the code. Now let's try the kit sample. Chip count to 1 again, 4, 3, and 2. 
50 milliseconds delay, upload code. Okay, let's try another sample. This time the LED one. Change it again. 1, 4, 3, and 2, 50 milliseconds. Okay, the next example is called random. Change the values again, upload the code. There's the random effect. Now let's try the smile effect. Upload code. Okay, so I modified the LED example code a little bit to show this result. Here's the edited code. You can also use the for loop iteration code from arduino.cc by the way. It's way easier to understand in my opinion. Again, links in the description. So I reverse the off and toggle code on the middle by replacing and switching some things up. Switch the positions of last pin and zero. Last pin is equivalent to seven by the way since we only have eight LEDs. Replace the less than or equal to symbol with the greater than or equal to symbol. Then, replace the increment with the decrement, so that when the last pin or pin 7 is turned on, the process will reverse. Same thing goes for the second to the last for loop code. Alright then, so now we're going to add 3 more shift registers into the mix. But first, we're going to need to test them, because as you will see later, not all of them are built the same. Alright, so the one that we used before is obviously working as intended. So let's unplug the Arduino, then replace the IC with another one. Remember to put it on the right orientation, like this. Power up the Arduino, as you can see here, it's performing quite oddly than the other IC. Okay, let's try another IC. This one is working properly. And this one works like the other one. So we're going to need two more ICs. Luckily, I have plenty of them. Alright, let's find the ones that are working properly. Hmm, this one works oddly as well. Okay, this one is fine. We now have three shift registers, we only need one more. I think I've got it. Apparently, we can't use these guys. The ones with 13 CNONKE4 on them. And we can use the ones with 81 CVMVHE4. This other one is different too. Let's try it. Okay, it seems like we have found our fourth and last shift register. Now we have to disassemble this thing and set another one up. Alright, so now we're gonna place the Arduino Nano here. Shift registers here. Then we have to DC chain them. So first, let's connect ICP number 9 or serial data output of the first IC to ICP number 14 or serial data input of the second IC and so on. Just like that. Then, connect ICP number 8 or ground of the four shift registers to the ground rail of the breadboard. Next are the ICP number 10 or master reset of the ICs to the positive or 5 volts rail of the breadboard. Then, IC pin number 13 or output enable of the ICs to the ground rail of the breadboard. And last but not the least, IC pin number 16 or VCC of the ICs to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then, connect the positive and ground rails of the breadboard to the 5 volts and ground pin of the Arduino Nano. Now that the essential connections are done, let's daisy chain IC pin number 12 or latch pins first. Move on to IC pin number 11 or clock pins. Then connect the latch pin of the first IC to digital pin number 4 of the Nano. Clock pin of the first IC to pin number 3 of the Nano. And lastly, the data pin of the IC to digital pin number 2 of the Nano. Now that the daisy chaining is done, let's set up the LEDs together with their respective resistors. Well, it turns out I have ordered a pack of LEDs with various colors before. I guess I have found the perfect use for them. These right here are the resistors that are included. Apparently, they are all 200 ohms. I just checked. Okay, so here are the ones that we will be using. Blues, pinks, whites, and purples. I have already tested them using a button cell battery by the way. The white LEDs will be on this spot. Pink ones here, blues, and the purple ones here. These ones will be on top. Okay, let's add the LEDs first. Followed by the resistors. I bend my resistors like this. 
straighten the leads first then bend them using the tweezers so that they all have the same look. Okay, just finish adding all of the LEDs and resistors needed. Next up is wiring them up. There it is, wiring is done. Here is the code that we used before. Okay, hit upload. It goes like that. The purplish LED just looks like the blue one but lighter though. Let's change the chip count to 2. Click upload. And there it is. Beautiful. Just gonna turn off the lights. And there it is. Change the chip count again, this time to 4. Hmm, I think it looks better when we use 2 chips. I mean, when we change the chip count to 2. Also, I could actually add more LEDs and shift registers to this setup. But I'm lazy. <laughs> and it has a ton of wires already as it is. I'm not going to add more. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.